Uh, my name is Chris O'Connell. Yeah, we drove in here because we thought it was a really important issue and uh, need as many people to stand up for it as we can because we don't feel like we're being heard anywhere. Uh, in this country, it's become apparent to me, especially in the 30 years that I've been paying attention, that things are getting worse every year, that money runs this country and America is no longer for your average American. Um, if you have money, you can pretty much buy what you want in the political system and it's... Yeah, you can't get health care, the environment. I mean, there are so many issues that uh, the American people used to have 50, 60 years ago that's just been taken away from us slowly enough for that people aren't noticing. And it's about time someone made some noise and people started noticing that the haves have completely taken over the country from your average person. they got to be a change. And I think we need to get back to good old fashions, morals, and definitely ethics. Because some, you know, some once when they get in office, they forget who put them there. Uh, my name is Tariq Taylor. I'm originally from New York, but I live in North Carolina now. I'm here because I don't see a future for my future children. Specifically, I would like to see, well, first off, same-sex marriage legalized. Uh, corporations are definitely not people. They need to take that out. 99% foot the bill. 1% uh, reap the benefits. 100% unfair. And I worry about that for my children and my grandchildren, um, that what we were able to obtain, attain and, and build for them is just going away and, and won't come back. It's almost like we're at a point of no return. If you look at, for example, and I, you know, t nobody wants to raise taxes, but if you look at corporate tax levels are lower than they've been in a long, long time, uh, I think that's a place you could start. You know, it, it's just trying to equalize the playing field, and big, big business needs to start paying some taxes. And I think that's a good, that's a start generating revenue. This country was built on capitalism, and we just don't have it anymore. And my kids' future is very compromised because of the way we've been doing business. These banks needed to fail. They didn't need to be bailed. And, there, and the fact that we had, were given a false dichotomy between, you know, um, annihilation or you have to bail us out. And that was a false dichotomy. There were a lot of very bright people with ideas in the middle about takeovers and nationalized and this, that, and the other. And we were, f we were forced by fear to give those banks that money. And that irritated me. I graduated with a degree in environmental biology, and I work as a receptionist at a law firm. With benefits. With benefits. So I have health insurance, which I'm very lucky about, but I'm still drowning in debt. I have a small business. People are buying less and less of my stuff because they don't have any money to spend. And I don't see the 1% out there buying my product, so... Yeah, they're not buying they're my not, product. So, <laughs> for the economy to grow, we really need to, to share the wealth amongst the nations, you know, all the people. And we work hard. They benefit from us. We're not benefiting from, any, from them. And you've got to remember, we're not socialists. We're not Marxists. No. We're not hippies. We're not anti-capitalism. Okay? We pay our taxes. Okay, we vote. You know, we, we, we obey the rules. And we're getting we are, royally screwed. We are not anti-capitalism. No. We're, no, we're anti-greed. Anti-greed. People have a variety of ways to express themselves. Voting is one, and it's an extremely important one. It, it is the great level, of, you know, the equalizer in our culture in a way. We have education that helps people lift people up, and we have the, the power of the vote. Before the ballot box, when we stand before the ballot box, we're all equals. And everybody needs to use that power or you're basically giving it away. You're giving it away to somebody else. And that's, everybody here needs to recognize, even though you get discouraged by politics, you get discouraged by politicians, we still need to keep fighting and using the, our powers, all of them, uh, to make ourselves heard.